distributor wall is the most important functional component of the air brake system and is also sometimes referred to as the heart of the air brake system the function of the distributor wall is to distribute compressed air received from brake pipe to auxiliary reservoir and control reservoir in addition to this it also senses drop and rise in brake pipe pressure for brake application and release respectively it is connected to brake pipe through branch pipe various other components connected to the distributor wall are auxiliary reservoir brake cylinder and control reservoir the distributor wall is removed for overhaul maintenance and replace without disturbing the pipe connections the complete working of braking system depends upon the working of distributor wall this is the shell of ke type distributor wall in which air flow paths of bp ar bc and cr are designed in built an air flow chart was designed and animated for easy understanding of these air flow paths first of all let's see the charging stage of dv as shown in this figure if the dv handle is parallel to the ground it means that it is in the off position in this position the ar pressure is in the exhaust through r charger also bp pressure does not go into the dv if the handle of the dv is vertical to the ground then it is in on position in this position ar exhaust path closes and bp pressure gate opens through r charger then bp pressure is entered into the dv a controller's path is open so bp pressure passes into cr via a controller and bp pressure converted into cr pressure via a controller at the same time ar is also charging through r charger This green color indicates BP pressure in DV. Yellow color indicates CR pressure in DV. Blue color indicates AR pressure in DV. In the animation you are watching DV is charging then BP CR and AR are charging at a time with 5 kg per cm square application stage now let's see how the application is done when BP is dropped from 0.2 to 1.3 the connection between BP and AR will be disconnected at the same time pressure variation occurs in three pressure wall then the bp pressure in three pressure wall goes to u controller and a controller then the u controller drops more bp pressure why this kind of design is put in dv is that there are 60 wagons in one break all of them do not apply brakes at the same time that is bp drop for all the wagons 
does not happen at the same time. For example, if you open one gate in a dam with 60 gates, the water level will decrease at that gate, but the water level will not decrease at the remaining 59 gates. It takes some time to decrease, as well as BP drop in the engine does not drop to 60 wagons at once. So, this U controller has been designed to drop the BP pressure to 60 wagons at once. The U controller in the DV of each wagon will further drop BP pressure when there is some BP pressure drop. Therefore, all the wagons will apply brakes simultaneously. At the same time, the connection between BP and CR is disconnected through a controller. At the same time, the stem of the three pressure wall goes up and AR pressure connects to BC. When 0 0.2 BC pressure is reached, the connection between BP and CR will be disconnected through A controller. Because when BC application starts, CR pressure should be constant with 5 kg per centimeter square. When 0 0.4 BC pressure is reached, U controller exhaust is closed. Because U controller reduces BP pressure further by 0 0.4 in addition to the brake pipe pressure reduced by the driver from the loco to accelerate the brake application particularly during minimum reduction throughout entire formation. When 0 0.8 BC pressure is reached, minimum pressure limiter is closed. Because minimum pressure limiter admits air from AR into BC to a pressure of 0 0.8 immediately during brake application to overcome the resistance offered by the brake rigging. Up to service application, that is up to 1.3 kg per centimeter square, these three will be closed. For full service application, the maximum limiter will be closed. This maximum limiter will not send further pressure into BC. Lap position is the position of the hollow stem of the three pressure wall in which neither BC connected to AR nor to exhaust during brake application or release for the purpose of facilitating Graduated brake application or release. The hollow stem is designed to take lap position up to full service application. These are the graduated application and release pressure variations. These should be checked in DV test bench. Emergency stage. Now, let's take a look at the emergency performance of DV. Emergency means applying sudden brakes, that is, dropping the total pressure in BP. When 5 kg per centimeter square pressure is dropped, DV will respond very quickly. Maximum attaining BC pressure will come, that is, 3.8 plus or minus 0.1 kg per centimeter square with the time period of 18 to 30 seconds. Then, AR has a practical pressure of 4 kg per centimeter square. To release brakes after emergency application, refeeding with 5 kg per centimeter square should be done with A9 wall. When both CR pressure and BP pressure are equal, the hollow stem comes down. Then, AR comes into charging 
through our charger and BC is released through three pressure valve. During application, AR pressure goes into BC. But when BC pressure is released, it does not go back into AR. It goes to atmosphere through three pressure valve. When the BC pressure falls down below 3.8 in BC, the maximum limiter opens. When the BC pressure reaches 0.8, the minimum limiter opens. When the BC pressure reaches 0.4, the U controller opens. And when the BC pressure reaches 0.2, the A controller opens. When BC is fully released, AR will be fully charged. That is 5 kg per centimeter square. If AR is not fully charged, BC will not be applied if brake is applied again. It takes 1 minute for AR charging to be 4 to 5 kg per centimeter square. Therefore, the release time is 1 minute for slow release through release choke. What you don't notice here is that the charging stage and release stage are the same. Insensitivity For each DV, that is, for each wagon, the BP pressure will drop by a certain percentage. Therefore, this insensitivity has been designed in DV to prevent brakes with slight leakage from being applied. Now, let's see how this insensitivity works in DV. Drop 0.3 kg per centimeter square for 1 minute at the rate of 0.1 kg per centimeter square every 20 seconds. As you can see in this video, CR pressure goes into BP pressure. At the same time, AR pressure goes into BP pressure due to which BP, CR and AR pressures are equal, application does not happen. This phenomena used in DV as a insensitivity. Sensitivity Now, let's see how much pressure and how much time the brake application will take place if the BP is dropped is known as sensitivity. The sensitivity has been designed in DV for the application of brakes. Application is done by dropping 0.6 kg per centimeter square within 6 seconds. This insensitivity and sensitivity should be checked by DV in DV test bench and wagon in single wagon test rig. EKPT. This is an animation of adding pressure transformer to KE type DV. According to electrical terminology, transformer means to step up or step down the voltage or current. Also, according to mechanical terminology, pressure transformer means to step up or step down the air pressure. Here, the function of this transformer is to reduce the pressure and send evenly. Now, let's see the empty performance of EKPT. Without any restriction from 0 to 2.2, it sends PT input as much to BC as usual. Even if PT input pressure exceeds 2.2, output pressure only sends 2.2. Even after emergency application, it sends only 2.2 to BC. You can see in this table. Now, let's see the performance of load. When LSD stem comes up, AR pressure goes into PT through DV. Then, gate in PT opens, 
then without any restriction pt input pressure goes to pc input pressure this is tanuja ssc indian railways signing off BOBR BTAP BCCW and BLC wagons are provided with automatic two stage empty load device to cater for higher brake power in loaded condition instead of the conventional manual empty load device BOBR and BCCW and BTAP wagons have only one LSD but BLC wagons have two lsds the layout you see is blc's air brake system the indicator does not come out in load which means that the wagon is in loaded condition left side north beams make indicator and right side escorts make indicator here you have to note one thing apm does not convert the pressure it reduces the pressure and sends the remaining 1.6 kg per cm2 pressure to the apm reservoir signing up